You guys ready? I'm here. Today's guest with me is no other than Cam Adair from yes. Qu Game Quitters. Guys, it's about to go down. I don't know what we're about to do, but it's it's going down either way. It's going down. Guys, welcome. I've never done a video interview on my channel like this, but I'm here with my good friend Cam Adair from Game Quitters. Game Quitters, for those of you who don't know, is the number one support, it's the largest support community for video game addiction. And we're here, we're seeing, I'm gonna show you guys what we're looking at, but we're in front of one of the most beautiful beaches. Um, Francesca's flying some drones, so maybe we'll throw in some drone footage here. But uh, we're here in San Diego. I, I told Cam, we gotta do a collaboration. I want you to come share your story on my channel. And uh, if you're listening to this, I wanted him to come share this on the Interchange Maker. Um, so Cam, welcome to the show. <laughs> Dude, awesome to be here. We hung out in, in Toronto a while back and yeah. we didn't have a chance to do a video. We were so busy that day, but I'm yeah. glad we got to do it today. Yeah, so you, you do some amazing things. I mean, you, you have like two TEDx you know, talks, one on bullying, one on uh, video game addiction. And both of those have done, you know, thousands and thousands of views, 200 quarter million views on one of them, right? Yeah, that just happened yesterday. That just happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll link to all the videos below. But so you, you're pretty much leading this community of helping people get rid of their video game mm -hmm. addiction. I think it has to do with changing habits. Yes. I think it has everything to do with changing habits. So I'm really curious to know, what was your life like? And I don't even know this. What was your life like when you were like playing video games all the time when you were addicted to video games? What, paint, paint us a picture of that. Yeah, it's a really good question and, and I'm really happy to be here and, and to share this message. So for me, the consequence, which I think is one of the stipulations of addiction. So when you're thinking of whether or not you have an addiction, it has to do with the negative consequence it's having in your life. So for me, the negative consequence was I was gaming 16 hours a day. I dropped out of high school twice. I never graduated, I never went to college. I, at one point, was pretending to have jobs and deceiving my family where my dad would drop me off at a restaurant in the morning thinking I was going to a job as a prep cook. And then as soon as he drove off, I'd walk across the street, catch the bus, it'd take me back home. I'd sneak in through my window and I'd go to sleep because I'd been up all night gaming. So you, so, you just go back home? So I'd just go back home. Yeah, my parents <laughs> would go to work, right? Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I could just be Makes at sense. home, I could sleep. And so I'm like literally deceiving my family. And wow. for me, what happened was that I was really depressed. So I experienced a lot of bullying growing up and that kind of left me feeling isolated and depressed. And eventually I came to a point in my life where as much as gaming allowed me to escape from feeling depressed because mm -hmm. I was gaming, it was fun. Yeah. Gaming didn't actually fix the depression. So eventually gaming or my depression got to a point where I actually wrote a suicide note. And that's the moment when I realized I no longer felt safe with myself. I no right. longer felt like I could do this on my own. Yeah. And I really needed some more support. So I, I talked to my father and asked him if he would help me find a counselor. He did. And that's really when things started to turn around. Holy crap. That's, that's insane. And, and, and now you're leading this community. I mean, you show me some of the messages that people write. By the, by the way, guys, game quitters. If you love video games or if you want to change a certain habit, or especially about video game addiction, go check out Cam Adair. Um, but now you're like helping other people get rid of their video game addiction. What is your life like now that you kind of figure it out? Obviously, it's, it's been a while. It's something you probably work at all the time. But what's your life like now that you don't have this kind of addiction to video games? Yes, yeah, so my life has completely changed. I mean, I went from a person who was depressed playing games 16 hours a day with barely any friends at all to I now live in sunny California. Right now it's a Tuesday at like, it's what, 3, 3 p.m. And after this I'm about to go surfing and that's like a standard Ooh. day for me. You know, I work this morning on my own business. It's making a difference in the world. I'll go surfing Massive. after this. Uh, I just got back from a three week trip in Tanzania, Africa to build a clean water well. And you know, Ooh. my group of friends is, are people like Jay who are world-class individuals really pursuing uh, making a difference in the world and, and living life on their own terms. And that really speaks to kind of where my life is at now. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy, I'm fulfilled. I, 
I feel in control of myself and, and really I'm just trying to spread the message to help other people do that too because I see myself as just a positive role model, someone that is no different than anyone watching this video. We've been through different circumstances and, and that's okay, but I made the choice, no matter what my circumstances were, to start living more in alignment with my values and, and what really inspired me. And I think anyone else, no matter what, can do that too. I mean, Cam, that is powerful stuff and I'm so, so glad that we actually found time to do this because I think the, the fact that you have such a big support community and you know some of the messages that you've shown me that people write in, um, you, it's making such a big difference, right? And, and it shows that it's making such a big difference in your life. So if people are listening to this, whether it's on the podcast, if they're watching this right now, um, you know, what can they do? Maybe it's not video games for them, but maybe it's, you know, I don't know, getting drunk all the time, or maybe it's partying, maybe it's doing drugs, maybe it's um, something else that they're addicted to, right? How can, what are some of the initial things that they could do to go about to change that habit? Yeah, it's a great question. And for me, what I personally believe is that it's, gaming is just a topic. It's just where our community initially connects, but gaming just speaks to a crutch that you have in your life. And so something in your life, a habit that maybe isn't necessarily helping you live your life in the best way possible, and we all have that, whether it's gaming or porn or drugs or alcohol or TV or Netflix or YouTube or, you know, whatever else. Like, we all have that food. And whatever that is for you, I think the first thing that you need to, to focus on is, is what is it fulfilling for you? So when I was gaming, gaming fulfilled four different needs I had. The first was temporary escape that allowed me to escape from my problems. The second was social connection. So I found social connection in video games. The third was constant measurable growth which for me was all about progress i got to see my progress in life and the fourth mm. was challenge or a sense of purpose and so mm. for me i wasn't just gaming because i loved video games i was gaming because it was fulfilling those needs right so whatever your crutch is you need to identify what is it fulfilling for you not just that food tastes good but food makes you feel more comfort food makes you feel more accepted when you're around other people Food is fulfilling something for you. Any crutch is fulfilling something for you. So what is it? You need to get really clear on that and then figure out how you could replace those needs, how you could fulfill those needs using other activities or other things that are more aligned with your values. Mm. I, and, I, and I love that. I, I agree. Um, I had uh, Grant Cardone recently on, on my show. I think for people that were watching this, you can watch the, the video. Um, but uh, he says it's all about being obsessed. And I said, well, being obsessed, that has a negative connotation to it, right? It's like you're, you're an addict. He's like, dude, that's exactly it. He's like, you want to be a junkie, but you want to be a junkie about things that are serving you, mm -hmm. right? And so it's almost like you want to take the addictive personality or whatever you're addicted to, but you want to replace it, whether it's food, porn, whatever, Netflix, you want to replace it with something that's like more in line, I guess, with, with what you know, what you want to accomplish in life. Exactly. Like, would, you, would you agree with that? Or? Exactly, 100%. I believe that you can channel your powers for good or evil. So you can channel mm. all your talent, your effort, your discipline, your willpower, all of it in the direction of creating the exact life you want or just living in a place of apathy where you're just, you know, playing video games 16 hours a day, you don't give a shit, and you're just trying to check out and kill time before you die. The behavior is the exact same. It's no different. You're just channeling your energy into one thing versus the other. Mm -hmm. So I, fir I firmly believe in, in exactly that, that the only difference with addiction is that addiction has a negative consequence in your life. Right. So I'm just as driven for surfing. I'm just as driven for game quarters. I'm just as driven for travel. Yeah. The difference is that it's not causing me to deceive my family. It's not causing me to try and destroy my life. It's not causing me to try to kill myself. Mm. And... That's, that's the fine line, but the energy is very similar. One last question. Um, do you think people need to go cold turkey on their addiction, or do you believe in more of a kind of step-by-step, kind of, you know, I don't know, kind of like moving it in a little slower? Because um, I know that's probably like a wild debate when, when, when we come to this topic. So for me personally, especially with gaming, I recommend a 90-day detox. So okay. that's 90 days nice. cold turkey. And the reason has to do with attachment theory, where it takes about 90 days for you to detach from something that mm. you know, you're very attached towards. Habit 
uh, science around it takes 90 days to develop a habit like fully. Yeah. And I also just believe that, you know, if you're unable to stop something for 90 days, then yeah. you probably shouldn't be doing that thing at all. Mm. So in my opinion, it's not that necessarily cold turkey or moderation is, is better or worse. Right. But I think a 90 day challenge puts you in a position where you're kind of ripping the bandaid off yeah. and you have no choice but to see the behavior for what it is and to see what it's fulfilling for you in your life. If it's serving you or exactly. if it's hurting you. Exactly. And so after 90 days, if you want to reevaluate reintroducing it, I think that's totally kosher. Mm. But that 90 day period is going to give you a period of time in your life where you now have a reference point for what life looks like without X. And that reference point is really important for you to decide whether or not you want to continue it or not. Love it. I love it. Okay, Cam, tell the audience that's listening, that's watching, where can they socially stalk you? Where can they follow you on your adventure? I know Game Quitters is kind of like the hub. Uh, what, what are the social media channels or what are some of the cool things that you want to point people to? Yeah, so Game Quitters on YouTube, uh, GameQuitters.com, my social media links, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. We'll link below because they're all a bit different. And a big thing that I'm about is I respond to every comment, every email, everything. So if you're watching this, comment below, say, hey, I'd love to say hi back. And if you follow me anywhere else, feel free to comment and I'll definitely hit you back as well. Okay, awesome. Well, Cam, thank you so much, brother. I love this. And uh, if you guys want to see more kind of video interviews, collaborations like this, let us know in the, the video chat. Do you have a question of the day? Or I always try to question, question of the day. Of the What's day. your crutch? Ooh, ooh. Answer in the comment section below. We'll both be hanging out there. We'll see you guys then.